I'm super excited today. More cowbell. <laughs> right on. Her voice could punch you in the face. I love this one. Jive turkey. Who are you calling jive turkey? You. Hi guys, this is Clay again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike, and we're going to follow up on a suggestion from the comments mm -hmm. today. Which are always so good. Yeah. We, um, we watched, what was it, Seaman? Yes. Uh, Rammstein cover, Apocalyptica did. Yes, some with time the, ago. what was her name, Nina was Hagen. The, Nina Hagen, yeah. Mm, and, so good. Uh, and we had a suggestion that we check out their new uh, cover of White Room with Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach. Yes, and we've seen him. With the uh, Who. With the Who band. Yeah. Yeah, which was fabulous. And I was a reasonably decent Papa Roach fan back in the day. So I'm familiar with him as a voice as well. Uh, if this is the same white room that I'm thinking of, it's an old, old, old classic. So let's check it out yeah. with a new spin. Let's see. Yeah, same song already. You can never lose with the cello.
was good. It was good. I'm not a... I confess. Okay. The the psychedelic era was a little bit before my time. I've never been a huge fan. Not right there with you. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that one was always a pretty good one. Yep. Uh, among the, the songs that were iconic for that age, that one was a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a decent, a really good cover. It wasn't a dramatically changed as far as I could tell. Yeah, I, I mean... It's been a long time uh, since I heard that Yeah, one. because I'm not a huge fan of that that music from back in the day, it's been a while since I heard it. And yeah. I was sitting there going, how much is this alike and how much is it different? Because it felt pretty faithful, right? But it also felt modern. So I know yeah. there had to be some pretty significant differences. You know what was missing? And it's a good thing because... Uh, one of the reasons I didn't like that kind of music a lot is because the guitar sound was always very kind of harsh and grating, right? It was mm. all, all kind of overwhelmed the music sometimes. And I know some people really like that, right? Like Jimi Hendrix made his entire career <laughs> on just overwhelming you with the sound of a guitar. But it always kind of, I always found it a little too, too much, much for me, right? So, and that version was lighter on that. I mean, I mean the truth is, I didn't really hear much of the orchestral instruments. They got kind mm. of overpowered by the by the percussion and and what what there was of guitar there. So I that was a little bit. I would have liked to have heard them more. I had it sound a little more cello like, more obviously well, cellos. I don't know. I hate right? to say like they that were there, because it was but... really good. But uh, you know, when Apocalyptica is in the in the title, I'm thinking I'm going to hear those cellos, and I, I'm a terrible old lady for the cello man. <laughs> I just love listening. I mean, to they it. were there, but they were doing just it was know, a, a lot of boom, boom. Yeah, boom, yeah. Right, just the the backbeat and the, and the rhythm guitar kind of thing, right? Yeah, but making the guitar less grating was definitely an improvement. To yeah, that song. I, because we've only done one song with Apocalyptica before, and I knew how guitar based Cream was. I wondered how much guitar we'd get, if if any, like yeah, and, and yeah. how they would treat it. I liked the balance myself. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I don't know who played the guitar, but it was really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was good. And of course, the, the vocals were great. Yeah, I love him. I love his voice. So like I said, I don't know the original well enough off the top of my head to know how they modernized it, what they changed. But it did sound more modern, and, yeah, and yeah. I really quite liked it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I liked it too. Excellent. Yeah, good suggestion, guys. And I know what you're going to want to say, play it again. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You can find us on Twitter. We are at Play It Again MG. And thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs>